there is direct variation whenever a situation produces pairs of numbers in which the ratio is constant. The statements y varies directly as x, y is directly proportional to x, and y is proportional to x may be translated mathematically as y equals kx, where k is the constant of variation. For two quantities, x and y, an increase in x causes an increase in y as well. Similarly, a decrease in x causes a decrease in y. Express each of the following by means of an equation where k represents a constant of variation. In number one, we have p varies directly as q. So what you're going to do is to translate it mathematically. So just write p equals k, which is the constant of variation, times q. So that's all. In number two, we have the cos C of candies varies directly as the number N of kilos both. So what you're going to do again is to translate it mathematically. So just write C, C for the cos of candies equals K, which is the constant of the variation, and then times N. N is the number of kilos both. In number three, we have the weight W of an athlete is directly proportional to his height H. So again, just write W. So W is the weight of an athlete equals K. K, which is a constant of variation, times H, which is the height of an athlete. Next is, we have the fare F of a passenger varies directly as the distance D of his destination. So just write F. F is for the fare of a passenger equals K. K which is the constant of variation times D, the distance of his destination. Last number five. So we have the cos C of fish varies directly as its weight, W in kilograms. So just write C. C for the cos of fish equals K for the constant of variation times W. The W means the weight in kilograms. So that is very easy. In each of the following, y varies directly as x. Find the values as indicated. In number 1, we have y equals 12. When x is equal to 4, find y when x is equal to 12. So we have y equals kx. So just substitute the values of y and x to the equation that y equals kx. So we have 12 equals k times 4. So bring down 12. Equals 4 times k is 4k. To solve for k, so divide both sides by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So bring down k. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So that is the answer. But we have here, find y when x is equal to 12. So we have y equals kx. Substitute, uh, so we have to find y. Substitute k. k is 3. So we already uh, solved for k. So that is 3. And then x is 12. So y equals 3 times 12 is equal to 36. So that is the final answer. For number two, we have if y equals negative eight, when x is equal to negative four, find x when y is equal to two. So again, we have y equals kx. Substitute uh, the y and x to the equation. So we have y is negative eight equals k 
which is a constant of variation times negative 4. Then bring down negative 8 equals negative 4 times k is negative 4k. To find k, divide both sides by negative 4. Negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1. So bring down k. Negative 8 divided by negative 4 is 2. So the answer is 2. So our constant of variation or our constant k is 2. Next is to find x when y is equal to 2. So again we have y equals kx. Substitute y. So we have 2. 2 equals k is also 2. So we're looking for the values of x. So times x. Bring down 2 equals 2 times x is 2x. Divide both sides by 2 to get x. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. Bring down x. Again, 2 divided by 2 is also 1. So our x is equal to 1. For number 3, we have if y is equal to 24 when x is equal to 6. Find y when x is equal to 1 fourth. So again, we have y equals kx. Substitute the value of x and y to the equation. So we have 24. y is equal to 24. Equals. So k times 6. Alright? So bring down 24. k times 6 is 6k. To get k, divide both sides by 6. So 6 divided by 6 is 1, bring down k. 24 divided by 6 is 4. So our constant k is 4. Next is find y when x is equal to 1 fourth. Again we have y equals kx. Alright? So we're looking for the values of y. So our k is 4. And then our x one fourth. Alright? So y equals. Now we're going to multiply one fourth to four. So uh, to multiply fraction to a whole number is uh, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So we have the imaginary one here. So four times one is four. And then one times four is also four. Now simplify. So our answer is y equals 1.